First off, before you dislike, leave a hateful comment, or unsub from my channel, I love Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is one of the best free-to-play games out there today. I stream it every Sunday on my Twitch channel and will still be making videos for it. If you're new, look at my homepage. I've made Genshin guides. I've also have a whole playlist for my Genshin streams. But Zenless Zone Zero just hits differently. And in just playing it one time, I can give you three reasons why it's better than Genshin Impact. Number one, the dialogue. I utterly hate the dialogue in Genshin Impact. So much to the point that I don't even know the story anymore. Paimon is annoying and talks too much. All the characters talk too much. Like whenever you do like a quest, they always over explain the parts that don't matter. And most of the characters actually seem lifeless. Zenless Zone Zero actually feels like I'm listening to an anime show. Also, it has this very Atlas-like approach to conversations and has already had a whole comic book-like cutscene. If you didn't know, Atlas makes the Persona series, Soul, ha Soul Hackers, and other games. They have a lot of fans, and I think that the Hoyoverse is trying to bring that atmosphere to this game, and the dialogue is top-notch, and I really enjoy listening to it. Plus, all the characters actually sound like they have a personality. Number two, the combat. Oh. My. God. Does the combat slap. It's fast-paced. I feel like all I feel all the vibrations in my PS5 controller. It's fluid. It takes multiple attacks to build up other attacks and ultimate attacks that have awesome animations, and it just feels a lot faster. It still has the ability to swap characters like Genshin Impact, and each character has a different specialty, just like Genshin Impact, but the combat is just better and more fun. Number three, the setting and graphics. I just like this futuristic cyberpunk setting better than the open world of Genshin. Granted, in size, the Genshin map is way, way bigger. Absolutely. But I like the contrast in Zenless Zone Zero because I don't think we get a setting like this in many free-to-play games. And the graphics. Oh my god, this game is beautiful. It looks so brand new, and I know Genshin's been out a few years, and yes, they update it, but Zenless Zone Zero just looks prettier. And the characters look amazing, especially Nicole. Am I right, guys? Now, maybe my opinion will change over time, but after today's experience, I'm giving Genshin a 9 and Zenless Zone Zero a 10, which again, means I still love Genshin Impact, guys. I still really love Genshin Impact. But right now, Zenless Zone Zero's first impressions are making me think that this is going to be Hoyo vs. best game going forward. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be playing ZZZ on YouTube and making guides and videos about the game. Also, check out my Twitch. It's in the comments section, and it's also in the video description. That's where I play Genshin Impact every Sunday. But anyway, guys, gotta go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Au revoir.